Hi guys, Tigre here with a new video and this video will be a Enhancement Shaman solo show for match video and I wanted to make this video uh, after the buffs so we can actually judge in real life, real time if the buffs are doing anything for us um, as Enhancement Shaman my preconceived judgment would be that it doesn't change anything we need so much more, which in my opinion would help to give us finally a solution to use whenever I'm, whenever we are stunned. So for example, Astra Shift being usable while stunned or give us uh, Shamanistic Rage or whatever, something that will help us to survive damage. But um, we're playing versus a DH and a Fury Warrior. At the end of the video, I will give you my full insight on uh the current um like gameplay like uh, of enhancement shaman is, is it good is it bad um are we still c tier or d tier depending on the tier list that you're using um all those kinds of things now uh, let's try to win okay you can sub i think go for a sub let's go you can do this you can do this nice uh, why would you? All right. Whatever. Giving all the buffs, and now it's time to rock and roll. Do -do 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 -do. Gonna stun you. Gonna stun you. I need to change my sound too because but um you see my damage was very high oh we're playing with a combat rogue that's why his damage was so unimpressive oh oh that ain't good my friend man i don't really want to go healer man it's 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 like the dumb choice do not go healer come on chop chop like, he goes healer, that's cool, but I am the target, so I'm not going to follow the, the healer. I'm just going to stand here. The healer is, like, over there. He just gets owned, which is very fine. I'm gonna stun him. Never mind, I'm stunned. Come on, come on, come on. He's alone with me, man. Giving haste to my uh, healer. And he should be dead. Nice. I, I guess the Holy Priest going to the end of the world. Just staying with the Outlaw Rogue was not the best solution. I think if he stayed with me versus me, I guess, we would have uh, probably won this. Um, no, um, we would probably lose this game. Outlaw Rogue, again, he was completely unknown with the Holy Priest. And he still has the least amount of damage of the whole game. Um, go Outlaw, man. He is squishy. To be honest, we won with the Outlaw Rogue. I assume that he will lose most of the games. Let's try to directly go for this. Alright. Alright. Nice. I mean, combat. Cool, cool, cool. Okay, I'm stunned. I'm gonna push them. <sighs> Giving some well-earned damage. Well, I, I, need to, I'm, I need to make the switch now. Let's go make the switch. Woo! That's some good damage, man. That's actually some good damage. I'm gonna stun him. We can maybe switch on the healer. Maybe. I kicked him, I kicked him, I kicked him, I kicked him. Oh, man. Rooted. No problem. I'll just switch back. Okay, and we won. Easy. Oh, the Holy Priest died and he got like the res. I, I, I didn't notice. Right? I mean... The Demon Hunter says that the, uh, the Holy Priest is uh, trolling. I feel like it's not. Uh, go hard on the Outlaw. I feel like it's not really the problem of the healer. I think it's it's basically us like slapping them. 
I'm putting a bit of more sound because I'm again. Okay, 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 okay. He sapped the um, the friend over there. I'm gonna I'm gonna go hard. All right, I'm gonna go hard right now. Hex. He he trinketed trinketed, nice. On him. He has more range than me, that's so weird. Oh, he's about to die, man. I'm gonna put, use my CDs. I got lucky with my proc! <laughs> Damage! Let's go! <laughs> Alright, look at this, man. We're playing with deeply rooted elements. So, basically, our um, proc, our, our storm strike actually procs ascendance, which obviously will do so much more whenever you have actually a proc. We're also super greedy with our points. We put static accumulation, torium suffocation, basically three points for just a proc, which is not the best thing to do, but uh, go resto. Just hard on the healer, but you uh, you have to move. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, we can come out. Never mind. Okay, we we could go on the healer, man. That's some good damage, man. Very good damage. Come on, heroism, hero. Let's go. Counter strike totem just in case. Kicked. Oh, he got kicked by the. I'm gonna hex him. Just to interrupt a, a potential heal. Come on, 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 come on. Kill, kill, kill. Let's go. Let's go. Four rounds. I might be wrong. Maybe damage is just all I need as an enhancement shaman. To be honest, I don't think so, but this game is quite weird. Still, it's a very low MMR too. Like, it's so, like, with so much variance. Like, we are 1855, and then we just lost, like, multiple games in a row. And uh, this one is my first game from, not, not first game, but I would say that most of my games are not that good. But um, I think we're, we're we're doing well, man. We're doing well. Let's go. I'm gonna push him out. Oh, okay. Fixing the demon on the mind. We need to peel our heels, man. That's a kill. Oh. I mean, I don't know what to say, man. The damage is so, so good. And I, I don't feel like it's me. It might be just the, 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 the lobby just not focusing me. Yeah. Go Shaman. I love how the Demon Hunter says, Go Shaman, he is shit. But he's not, man. It's just me being that strong, man. Look at the damage. Juicy. See, of course, after the solo shuffle, I'm going to give you my inside of uh, Enhancement Shaman, how it feels, and uh, compared to uh, the previous days, I will see what uh, what we're doing, man. We'll see, we'll see. All right, let's go. Let's turn it. I can't target the healing tide. Alright, I'm dead now. I think. Ooh, he got full full stunned. Full sapped. Okay, okay, okay. I wanted to target the healing tide, but it doesn't it didn't really work for me.
We can actually blast him. Where's the healer, man? Hero. Kick them. Kick, kick, kick. Six wins. Hey. Hey, I ain't complaining. And top damage of this whole soul shuffle, which is actually nice. Now, a bit of insight on what how I feel about those buffs. My prediction was that it would not change too much since um, every time you're going to do a crash lightning, it's going to only give you 10% per stack. While before it was like, I think 25%. So they did nerf it uh, quite a bit. It was 25% stackable six times, and now it's 10% stackable six times too. So basically your top potential of burst is going to be lower. Basically, if you're hitting two guys, it's going to be the same as hitting one guy with Crash Lightning. So that's a bummer. On pets, you will do, of course, less damage. And just as a whole, your biggest Storm Strike possible is not going to be possible. That's my take on those nerves. Of course, whenever you are not doing Crash Lightning, because you have to remember it's only one Storm Strike and it's going to get buffed, the next ones are not going to be buffed. So basically, every Storm Strike or Wind Strike you're going to do, it's going to be 20% stronger than before. Now, it's positive and negative in the sense where consistent damage is where we lack the most and of course deeply rooted elements is a great talent that you can use instead of ascendance i do like ascendance because then i can actually control my burst and often than not i can still kill people because of that but it's a three minute cd and three minute cd is very long so it means that you only use it once in a soul shuffle maybe two times like in a round if you are like unlucky with the duration of the match because the longer the duration the less defensive you have because healing is your defensive dampening is actually just saying no you're not going to heal uh, and that's the main problem of enhancement shaman so deeply rooted elements can help with the consistent damage and the surprise burst to be a bit more often sometimes you can just chain ascendances and your full duration ascendance you will get it by just having three procs at the same time uh, now it can also just not proc for a whole round you, you can be very unlucky with that it's eight percent uh, seven percent even excuse me um but it does feel quite nice to play with only one point in uh, Witch Doctor's Ancestry. I know that people do like to put two points, but I feel like Feral Spirits are up like nearly all the time. Like it's not, it's, it's not like if you put one point less that it is going to be dramatic. It is a bit dramatic in the sense where you do lose, I would say, 10 seconds on a Feral Spirit as a whole, like something like that. Uh, maybe 15 seconds, uh, I think it's, it's more uh, accurate. Uh, but to be honest, you don't really want to put Feral Spirits all the time at all times. Sometimes you want to maybe align it with your heroism, or you really want to align it with your Doom wins. Or, of course, whenever you have a Ascendance proc with your deeply rooted elements, you would you would want to have spirit of, uh, spirits, uh, Feral Spirit up. But I feel like it's not really necessary uh, to, to have it. So I think putting an extra point into uh, Elemental Assault with also Legacy of the Frost, which is giving you extra physical damage. And of course, you have your deeply rooted elements to have uh, like Wind Strike, which is also a great thing. And then everything that can actually boost your physical damage is going to be noticeable. And whenever you have like a Ascendance proc, you do get some big Wind Strike potentials with your Lightning Bolts or Shane Lightning. And right, the Lightning is a very good passive um every time i play without it i feel like i'm doing a lot less damage um now is are damage buffs enough i discussed about it in the beginning of the video but for me damage buffs alone is just not enough you can give even 50% increased increased damage to storm strike even 100% I, I think that would be too op 
But if you give too much damage, the only result will be you're, go you're going to get nerfed on damage. What I would like to see is actually have Pearl Spirits of GCD or Doom Winds of GCD or Ascendance of GCD or even those two, like both. Or Wind, Wind Fury Totem of GCD is a bit, a bit iffy because all Totems are basically on the GCD, I think, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and Heroism of GCD is maybe too OP because then yeah I don't know but they need to remove something of GCD and so you can actually macro it together because I feel like I have to press Pearl Spirits then Doom Winds then Heroism and then I can burst that's that's too problematic because I have to press three buttons to actually have a lot of damage and sometimes four if I'm playing Ascendance um, and that's why I now right now I'm playing with Deeply Rooted Elements because I feel like whenever I'm doing Ascendance I have four GCDs and sometimes people are like stunning me or fearing me inside of those four GCDs and I like I'm screwed, I need to trinket it and then I get like a full stun on it or full disarm on it and that feels kind of bad. That's the only thing I kind of uh, don't really like. Also I think Doom Wins having only 8 seconds instead of like 12 seconds um, is a bit ridiculous since a lot of like specs, classes a lot of classes and specs that I do play have longer duration on their debuffs or buffs that they are going to occur on the enemy. Uh, I feel like it's a very powerful buff though. Doomwind is very strong, don't get me wrong. Whenever you're doing that, your Wind Fury is doing some chunks of damage, especially if you have like a Ascendance proc and Heroism and Feral Spirits and such. So it's very cumulative. But uh, it's a 1.5 minute CD, right? If you put it in a 1 minute CD and you have 8 second duration, I don't care. But it's a 90 second CD that is not going to get reduced by using spells. The only thing that can reduce it is basically playing with Thunder Charge. The problem is with Thunder Charge is... Well, it's it's not it's it's good, but it's also is AGCD, man. If it's it's if it wasn't AGCD, it would be nice. I think you you can remove heroism and go for thunder charge, but the problem is, and it's going to always to be the same. It is a GCD, and if it wasn't a GCD, it would be a lot better. It would be a lot better. But again, we 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 have to see uh, what what we can do uh, to to. Uh, improve our things to to make it more smooth um, I think in general we are in a place where you can only get buffs but I do not want to only have healing buffs or damage buffs I want to have like quality of life buffs of an enhancement shaman and I don't know if a lot of you guys that are playing enhancement shaman would like to see those buffs like uh, do you really want to slap or do you want to feel good when slapping and the only thing I do not feel like enhancement is good is actually feeling good I have too many buttons like all my bars are full and i can even add more keybinds it's a lot difficult though and all those spells do like little damage or you could bake it into one um and i do not ask them to be a two button class because that's not what i ask but there is too much button blo bloat. I'm basically not playing Lava Lash and Ice Strike because it's too much of a button bloat. I'm basically forcing to Storm Strike my, uh, for my physical damage. But if I do, if I want to play with Ice Strike and Lava Lash, the problem is it does not that much damage um, if I'm playing like a physical build. So I have to gimp myself to be able to spam Sword Strike because if I'm actually playing Ice Strike and Lava Lash or Lava Lash, you can play both, but I would not recommend. Um, you, you will have a lot less Storm Strike applications because you will have to do an Ice Strike, you will have to do a Frost um, frost Shock after it, you want to have a Lava Lash too, and yeah, that, that's too complicated. I also think that talent-wise, you have too many talents um, that could be baked into one, like for example Lava Lash, you have to put one point, three points, in total four points, seven, um, six points, Seven points, eight points to make it a valid build. Eight points, while you also need a lot of de these points to make it valid. So I don't know, man. I feel like um, there is much to discuss. I think as a whole, Enhancement Shaman is going to be better because of those new buffs, but it will still be a status quo or where you are actually 
like the um, C tier spec, Alza. You're probably the best C tier spec. I think it's better than Fury, but it's not going to be that much better to be a, actually be able to be B tier. Uh, so, anyways, let me know what you think about those thoughts and that solo shuffle match. Um, uh, I'm actually like, I, I really like that match. Uh, it was very fun, very uh, fluid. Uh, people actually didn't really go for me and whenever they actually did um, my teammates were there to actually peel for me so that's fantastic sometimes it doesn't happen um, but yeah again I'm excited to test more enhancement shaman to limit limit test it a bit I think it's really needing a, a rework of some sort like I think just GCD wise already that would be nice if they change like the spec as a whole I would like them to revert to Mist of Pandaria but I don't think they will ever do that but uh, anyways, thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done that yet. And we will catch each other very soon in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.